I play Samuel Daly, who's the co-pilot to Captain Torrance, who's played by Gerard Butler. Daly and Torrance are essentially one of the last flights of Trailblazer 119 in a New Year's crew. But throughout the journey, they unexpectedly encounter a very, very bad, very, very turbulent thunderstorm and essentially comes across Yolo Island and everything, you know, Murphy's Law starts playing out. Everything that can go wrong goes wrong. I really connected to the intensity of the scenes that were sent to me between Torrance and Daly. And not only were there technicalities that they had to face, they also had to keep their cool within this, you know, heightened reality, life or death situation. Um, and this whole movie, everyone has to work together in order to survive. Brody Torrance is played by the wonderful Gerard Butler. I've been a huge fan of Jerry ever since I was a kid. You know, at, believe it or not, one of my favorite movies when I was 15 um, was Phantom of the Opera. And of course, then eventually 300. So growing up watching his movies, you know, rock and roller as well. Getting to be here, working with him, it's, it's kind of surreal. But at the same time, like I was a fan of his film but now I'm actually more of a fan of him as a person. He's just such a nice dude, man. Jerry is, is you know, first and foremost, he's an action star. He's done a lot more action movies than I have. And he's also 30 years of experience under his belt. So the instinct of being in such heightened scenes is that you always just want to go, almost like you're hyperventilating, you know, being, being scared. But, in reality, though, what I learned is that actual, in actual fact, people would want to stay as calm and collected as possible. And sometimes that stillness plays a very important role in that. And that's something, something I learned from Jerry. Um, and, 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 and yeah, and it's just um, getting to see how he gets into his process of his characters when you know, the scenes are at quite a heightened level. Um, it's, been, it's been really thrilling to watch because I've watched a lot of his movies and getting to see that process itself has been kind of a, a very surreal experience. Well, you know, I, I, I believe it's important for films, TV's films, to have an accurate reflection and representation of our day-to-day -day lives because it it plants its seeds into audience of conscious when they watch this because media has such a powerful impact in our lives. And the thing with playing, you know, we, we do exactly that. We strive to do that. Um, with Trailblazer 119 taking off from Changi Airport, you're going to have a diverse, you know, you're going to have a diverse group of people on board of the flight. And our passengers and our crew members reflect exactly that. The one challenge of being in Puerto Rico is the heat. It's not something I, it's not something I'm used to. I mean, being from New Zealand, actually, right now is peak winter in New Zealand. So coming from the cold to then to Puerto Rican heat, it's something else. It took a little while to adjust. Being out in Saba, filming in Saba, um, it was it was tough because <laughs> there were no shades. There were really no shades. The only shades we had was under the plane. He essentially creates the atmosphere of the scene. You know, lighting is so important. It can, it can, it can change the mood of the frame of a scene. It can be dark. It can be bright. This is talking both, you know, literally and emotionally. And that all comes within the way we light things. And Brandon is a master at that. So getting to work with him, seeing the way he lights every scene, it's been an honor. Um, he also makes us look pretty. <laughs> Jean-Francois Richet is the director of the plane. Uh, he's just <laughs> so fun to work with because the energy he brings to every scene, the excitement that he brings, you feel it. You can feel this man's passion and because you feel his passion, 
you reciprocate within into each scene. And it's just, we build upon one another. Um, and everyone can feel that. He's just, he really is just like a little kid having the time of his life, you know? And, and that's a compliment um, because there's no ego about him. He just wants to make the best film possible. And we all feel that. So it trickles down. We all just want to make the best film possible. And we're very lucky to be working with Jean-Francois. Oh my God, I feel like the physicality of the movie just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger by each scene. It starts off with being pretty, pretty chill, pretty calm in the cockpit. You're sitting down, everyone is sitting down, waiting to fly this plane. And, and, and before you know it, we're all in panic. We're all just trying to stay on our seats because the turbulent through the storm is just so big. But once we land, we're fighting for our lives in this foreign land with so many unexpected things happening. Like it looks violent, like the gimbal on the plane looks violent. It is violent, but I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I love theme parks. So I had a really, really fun time being on that thing. Um, every time we hit a turbulence, it would just, it really just added to our performance because we didn't have to act. We were really being thrown around. Th luckily we were strapped on, so it was all safe. But yeah, all the turbulence and all the up and down movements, it was all real. It was not much acting. It was really like, oh my God, what's, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Am I gonna be thrown out of my seat? <laughs> Thankfully, I was fine. <laughs> okay, what you need to do, use the bathroom beforehand because you do not want to miss anything in this movie. It's going to have you gripping to the edge of your seat. All right, it's, it's action-packed. You know, there's heightened intensity and it's, yeah, it's a lot about it.